Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, uh, today I was going to go through how to use some embossing folders and maybe some different ideas and different ways you could use them. Um, these are 2D embossing folders. These were just released from the Stamps of Life. Um, you could do these same techniques with 2D or 3D embossing folders, but this is what I had on hand, so this is um, what I'm going to show you. So for the first one, what I did was I used a um, the Craftist Companion Gemini machine. You could use any machine you have. It could be hand crank, electric, whatever it is. Um, and I would say you just need to know your machine to know how deep, you know, to Im to get the impression. Um, I think the standard configuration for the Gemini is to use the both of the clear cutting plates, the top and the bottom. But I also added in the magnetic um, to add it almost like a shim. You could add a piece of cardstock. Whatever works best for your machine is what you'll need to do. Um, and like I said, you could pretty much do any machine for this. Um, so here's just a plain piece of, you know, green cardstock, the um, embossed side and the debossed side. And you'll see the debossed side kind of um, dips in for the pattern. And for the embossed side, it is out, it pops out. And that's the floral pattern. And I think this is more like a hatch or a, a cross pattern. But as you can see, this also has the embossed side and the deboss side. Okay, so now let's look at some different um, types of paper that you could use that actually uh, work really well with this. So this is deli paper and it's pretty translucent, pretty opaque. So when you're putting this over cardstock, you kind of can see the, the tint of the color behind it, but it's not overpowering. This would really be great if you were, you know, just adding little pieces like um, behind a sentiment or something like that. I think that would really work out well. And just having the embossed adds um, a little extra something that you, you know, normally wouldn't see. So, and this is with the hatch, the cross pattern. This is with glitter cardstock. Now, this really comes out very striking. Um, it's you know, very visible. You could feel it, see it, with the glitter, it really comes out. This is mirror card, which might actually be one of my favorite techniques with, or favorite types of paper to run through. Um, the mirror card is just so bright, and with all of the extra detail, it really stands out. Now, um, the other thing you could do with the mirror card is just use the deboss side. So for this, um, particular background. What I did was I put this in backwards. So I had the shiny side facing down, ran it through as you normally would. And so the deboss side is on the top and it really looks wonderful with the mirror card. I also tried it on pattern paper. And if you look at the pattern paper, I did the embossed and the debossed. Um, and I think when you have a lot of pattern, it's, you know, difficult to see it. But if you have a lot of white space there, I think it, it really shows up pretty nicely. Now, the interesting thing on this is both of these had a similar back pattern. So you could also see on the back, this is the embossed side. And this is the debossed side. I think actually the debossed looks better when you have a very busy pattern. Um, but on the front side, they both look nice, but I think I really like the embossed better. Um, next, I just tried some, a little bit of inking. There's a whole bunch of inking techniques you could use. Um, so what I did was I just took um, a regular dauber and I just, you know, after it was run through, I went over some craft cardstock with white and got that. This one I did prior to running it through when it was just a white piece of cardstock. I used two different inks and I just added some dots and then I ran it through. So as you can see on this one, it's very specific to where the ink went. This is just kind of random and it looks good too. This one might be one of my favorites actually. So it's a very busy pattern, um, ba um, pattern background paper. Um, there's some, you know, floral designs, some letters, but then I ran it through the um, embossing folder and very, very lightly I inked over the top. And as you can see, it really brought out the 
um, design from the embossing. This was a piece of um, inked. I had already had this in my stash, but this was um, with the pearl alcohol inks. I had done this. I think this is from Tim Holtz, the pearl um, alcohol inks. And I ran this through and this came out really nice. Very busy. So I think, it, you know, if you just put like a black sentiment or a white sentiment, something very um, neutral, I think it would go great with this. The next little trick I did, um, I used a sanding block. So this you can get on Amazon or any of the craft stores, local stores online or, you know, in person. They're three, four, five in a pack. They're very cheap. Um, and what I did was I just took regular plain old cardstock and very lightly sanded over the, the raised areas. It's a little difficult to see on this, but it kind of mats, you know, gives you like a matte finish there. and. You know, looking at a distance, you could see it kind of makes it look two-tone. Um, I also tried it on glitter cardstock, and to my surprise, it worked very well. Um, it really, you know, it does lighten the um, glitter where you're, you know, sanding, but it kind of also brought it out a little bit more. So in some ways, you know, you kind of see it better. It's not as deep as the other you know, the one we I showed you earlier, because once you sand it, it does flatten a little bit, but it looks, I think it looks really great. This one was a cardstock that had, I just had it in my stash. It has a, a mat on the back and it had like a shinier finish on the front. And after I sanded this one, um, you could see if I get real close around the edges of each of those flowers, it really took off some of that shiny and it looks like it's got, you know, a different kind of um, texture to it now. Um, and the next group of cards that I'm going to show you, or the next backgrounds that I'm going to show you, I ran through both folders. I wanted to see what would happen if you did that. And, and then I had to run a little ink just so you could see it on camera. But if you'll notice in here, you could see that I did a very light, um, you could see the hatch or the cross pattern there, and then the flowers over it. So this has both and on the back, I think you could see both a little better. But I did run some ink over just to kind of highlight that. I did it also on black cardstock with white, just on the flowers. And you know, you could definitely see the background a little easier. This one I used um, sparkle pens, which again, I have this in my stash. Um, sparkle pens, and I don't know if you can catch the shine on this, but um, you'll see the cross pattern and the floral there. Very busy, but again, you know, kind of adds a little interest when you have two embossing folders. And this will not be my favorite of everything. Um, I used the mirror card and I ran it through both and you could really see how it's picking up both there. So these are just some quick ideas, different ways you could use your embossing folders. It'll stretch your um, purchases a little bit more. Um, sanding block, like I said, very inexpensive, and I'm sure you all have a million daubers or you have the finger daubers, either way. Um, just use your favorite inking technique with it. I think I'm gonna do another video to show some different types of inking techniques next and how we could use those with the embossing folders too. So hope you give these a try and I hope you enjoy this video. Um, and I'd really appreciate it if you could like and share and um, subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and uh, I'd love to see anything that you make, so please feel free to share that with me, and um, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.